Oh, hey. How are you? Good? Okay, listen. We need to talk. It's about the major web design tool that we've been using since the late 1990s. Sure, this tool has been good to us, and it never let us down, and we've learned a lot from it. But in the past five years, our industry has changed dramatically. The tool I'm talking about is this guy, Photoshop. What I'm getting at is you don't need to use Photoshop for web layouts and mocks anymore. Calm down. Don't click off the video. Give me a chance to explain. Okay. Back in the late 1990s to about 2008, Photoshop was our main tool because we only had one device to design for, the desktop. And because it was only one device, our process was simple. We would get the assets, make a wireframe, make one JPEG mock, slice up that PSD, code it up, test and fix, push it live. But in 2007, something crazy happened that changed our industry forever. You know it, the iPhone. Now, Steve Jobs gave us the first real mobile browser that loaded up real websites. Web designers, we weren't ready for this, but we did our best to adapt to it. And so we had to change our process. And we had to add two extra steps by creating two wireframes and two JPEG mocks. This was all well and fine until 2010. And what happened in 2010? You know, the iPad happened. So we web designers, we quickly adapt to it because we knew this was just the beginning. Thankfully, responsive web design came to save us. So, in this new age of web, responsive web design, if you're still designing layouts and mocks in Photoshop, you probably go through every round of changes by making three changes for every one change in three different mocks. Now, if you're still doing that and you're comfortable with that, that's fine. As long as the end product is what the client needs and wants, then keep doing what you're doing. But just letting you know that there are better tools out there to make these changes and end mocks even faster. Uh, it's like, for example, for graphic designers. Now, there's graphic designers out there that would rather use Photoshop than InDesign for page layouts. Sure, the end product might be the same, but one tool can produce it faster and in a more streamlined process. For us web designers, some of the tools that can help us out today are Front, Adobe Edge Reflow, Macaw, and Webflow. My personal choice is Webflow, but you should choose whichever clicks with you. Now with Webflow, my process is now simplified. I gather the assets, I make a wireframe, and then I do an interactive responsive mock. Then I export that code, test and fix it, push, and then I push it live. If there is ever a time that I need to make changes, I would just do it on the fly with Webflow. Now I know that there are those that are, going, that are still going to argue that Photoshop is still the tool to use for designing the mocks, but realize that Photoshop can't make an interactive, responsive canvas. You just set the canvas size and that's it. Also, please understand you're in an industry where change is the only constant. When you're ready to make that first step, find a tool that'll help you make responsive mocks faster, then change the way you design for the web to make yourself more valuable to your clients or your company. And only use Photoshop for what it was really meant for, photo and image editing. All right, that's it for this talk. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below or send me a tweet. Thanks.